inside. Taking 
Overwatch.
Bridge. That. I'll kill three enemy units as if I failed it on the final turn. I had to survive for eight turns and they killed three of my men all in the final turn. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> Hey Guncore, how's it going? A large group of gene stealers suddenly emerges from the walls. A crawler mass prevents us from moving forward. Order a brother to stand his ground. Well, that would be my medic. Let um, oh god. I don't know. I probably won't use the apothecary. So I could lose him, um, but then he could come in handy. So I'm not a hundred percent sure. Let's. Oh, let's just lose him anyway. Structural defect has revealed itself. It might be hard to place explosive. Cool.
Place the bomb on a marked location in 20 turns. Place the bomb on a marked location with the sergeant. Okay, shouldn't be too hard. Sergeant Zahariel, heed me. I have conferred with our tech adepts and we have prepared a strategy to destroy the Space Hulk. As we suspected, the scry sensors indicate that numerous energy cores are still active within the mass of the derelict. And we are to destroy them, Brother Captain. Indeed. But for this tactic to be effective, you will need to set several charges across the span of the Hulk and detonate them in sequence. The resulting chain reaction should split that behemoth apart. To achieve this goal, your squad must make your way deep into the inner quadrants. The danger will be grave. Our faith shall be our shield, Captain. The Emperor protects. For the Emperor! Forgive me, Captain Ubaldo, I would speak with you. Lexicanum Hagios, you have my attention. Captain Ubaldo. Before we embarked on this mission, I searched the archives for data on this derelict. I found nothing. The Blood Angels have never encountered this space hulk before. But the Ultramarines did. And they did not live to tell the tale. Yeah, it's not too this bad. Um, they Why make it out like the, the cards. The auto -Xenos base system is... Ship. Well, I don't know, the description sounded like you'd be using the cards a lot more than you need to, but it's very much like the board game. So if you've played that or any of the... Like the PlayStation 4 or PC versions of a space hub, it's pretty much the same. But I'm enjoying it so far. The Inquisition must be here for a reason. Marburg is an expert on the gene stealer species. He knows more than he is saying. My second sight tells me so. Perhaps. But we will not bend our knee to him. Our chapter needs the Gorgonum Forge intact, my lord. And our forces here are few. Respectfully, it would not serve us to let pride blind our judgment. I will consider your words, Hegios. But for the moment, we must continue with our mission. Right. Let's get this done. So place the bomb in 20 turns with a sergeant or just in general. Um, I'll probably do it with a sergeant, because if you watched the last mission, until he died, he was... Um, quite beefy. Took out quite, quite a lot of gene students. Don't think I've got any. Anyone else I could use? Uh, go with the same squad I've used throughout this this map, so to speak. Yeah, this is very different to um, to Halo Wars and Commander Conquer because it's not real time; it's turn based. But um, yeah, it's not too bad. Obviously, you've just got squad management. You've got to worry about buildings or anything else or tech trees at the minute. Um, Stand see, by. however, that will come into it later on. I don't know. Now. Probably won't. Proceed to this location and plant a melter charge at the designated waypoint. Just wait until like the bigger Tyranids come into it. It's like patriarchs and things like that. That'd be be quite funny because they'll just knowledge. destroy me. Squad to combat formation. Weapons free. Right, the prof is he even here? Because I have a medic here, but I'm pretty sad I killed him off. I don't know why he keeps putting me into first person mode because I keep turning it off. Um, can't remember the buttons now to do it. There we go. Taking up position. Taking up 
Takes so long for the opponent to take their first move. Overwatch, we convert that. Um, oh, if we put him into Overwatch, he'll be the sacrificial lamb, I would imagine. At least until I get the squad past this bit, and then I'll start to bring him back. To be fair though, I don't think the gameplay is going to change from like what I'm doing now. Um, the missions are all generic corridor fighting. Um, so far I've had to do assault missions where you had to kill everyone on the map, a um, extraction mission where I had to get three space marines to an extraction point, and a survival mission which was the last one I did, which was to survive for eight turns. Um, yeah, I don't think there's going to be any any variation of gameplay other than them. And then, them turrets are awful. to fan them out and then put them all into overwatch because um, that seems to be like the win tactic oh, I can't do I think I'm gonna know if I've messed this up <laughs> alright we'll come back to that in a minute we'll, we'll play with our heavy gunner so we'll move him down to and then use the old trusty overwatch again <laughs> take up fire in position I'll then move him back down this way as well so you can back up him um, let me put the points if I've got left too so again we'll do overwatch again I'll fan these out I can, I can use overwatch on him. No, I can't. I've got enough action points. Right, we'll convert a card then. Because the, um, the sergeant gets enough melee damage anyway with the plasma sword. So we'll then again put him into overwatch. Uh, we'll move him forwards. On. And again, the same tactic. If I can. Stop getting him to shoot. For 
and then we'll move him back on and do the same. Alright, let's see if this works. Yeah, I don't like the first person perspective on this. It just seems pointless. Because you don't get like an overview of the map. So it's like, what's the point? What's really annoying about if I'm streaming through the Twitch app on the Xbox is that I get like a, um, a stream overlay and it comes right at the bottom of the screen so I can't actually see like what I'm doing at the bottom. Right, so my one of my assault guys has been killed. Again, I'm not surprised. opponents in 17 turns. Right, okay. It's a long way to go then. Right, so I've got two there, so if I go that way they're just gonna gonna get me from the front and behind. Um there as well. I'm gonna have to stay put and try and take some of them out. Can't backtrack. But yeah, I'm so close. <laughs> Might as well move the sergeant into the middle. We'll then move him. Again, we'll stick him on Overwatch. Just, just the safest option. Stick this guy in the doorway. Again, Overwatch him. It covers the entire room then. Um, we'll move the heavy gunner down one. Don't think I can shoot him through the door, no. So we'll stick him back on Overwatch. I'm not too sure how to set the sentries, because um, they already deploy. But I think to manipulate this one I need to get one of the guys here like onto this square so yeah at least here if the sergeant does go down hopefully this guy can shoot whoever kills him more so if he like wants to move in and come up here then they both get shot at him or if they open that door then the sergeant won't shoot him but the guy behind him at least will can't believe they didn't do anything then um right we'll set it up the same again so the sergeant can go straight into overwatch um yeah we'll leave him there because again that covers his ass. Um, in fact, I'll just do the same. I'm not going to move him at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> Overwatch is um, it's like the most. It's, it's ridiculous because it means if you stick him into that, it costs two action points, but they shoot during the opponent's turn. Hi Mark. Hi Mar Marty Raymond. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. Thanks for watching the stream. Um, I didn't, didn't, they didn't even move again, did they? What I'm gonna do then? If that door is open, which I think it is, I'm gonna turn the sergeant round and then just shoot that. <laughs> Xenos what have we got? Oh, 69 fail percent. Okay. Um, Let's just try it. It fails, it fails. It didn't even do it. Look. We'll try again. Yeah! <laughs> is there another card there? There is, isn't there? Okay, well, we're all turning back around then. 
then if I burn another card, or I've got immediate success, um, I will use that. Because I imagine if they come in, then at least he's got plus three on his melee. Understood. Then we'll use our favourite move again. Set him far in position, at least that covers that doorway if these two blips come in. Um, he will not move there. I believe I might be able to take a pot shot at that behind the corner there. But there's two of them there now. Um, yeah, we should be through the door. Through the corner. <laughs> and then... We'll overwatch him. You can move down to more. Next turn we'll move, probably move this guy up first, he can then disable this gun. Actually no he's not, I'll, I'll leave that corridor. Um, we'll shut that door and then that shuts this bit off and I'll hopefully try and come round this way. And then I've got to worry about this turret but there's a console there I can turn off. Um, it can be a fake, it's sort of like a radar blip. So until I come into visual range of them, I don't know. Which you'd think like with all the, the technology that a Space Marine has, that they'd be able to identify what these are. But the little six next to it means it can be up to like six gene stealers, so it could be it could be none or six of them all in that corridor, which then means if that's the case and I've got twelve enemies standing here, then these two are dead. <laughs> No ifs, no buts, no maybes. But these were going to be sacrificial lambs anyway, really. Because the turret's going to stop them from coming up here, so the only way these guys can go is obviously through these two, which potentially even once this guy runs out of ammo, I then spend his entire action points to reload the gun. So then that makes him like a sitting duck. So just to anticipate that I'll move this guy back one and then back him back into that. These two will just do the same turns all the time. Um, we'll then get him facing that way and we'll interact with the door. Right, well he's going to fail, I don't know if I've got a... Oh, there we go. Um, gets a plus two on his melee or plus one on his next shot. We'll, we'll play that card with the, with the captain. Or is that going to go to him? No. And then we'll take a shot. So it's pretty much 50-50. You always know when the video <laughs> video cuts that you're going to get a, a victory. Right, so we'll move him forward to there, because then we'll interact with that turret and turn it off, at least to get me up the corridor. And then I just got to worry about these coming back on, back down. Um, yeah, that's it, all done. On to the next phase. Maybe not lucky. Dead now, though. Alright, I'll have to use a 
card on that one in the doorway, giving plus two melee. Hopefully, I can power fist it in the face. Still play some blips. Come on. <laughs> Sign because these little exclamation marks means that they're in melee range. So, unless, yeah, it must be in range of him, mustn't it? Okay, we'll back him up and turn him round. Um, what I'll do is I'll even use a card on him, it gets plus two in his melee. Heavy can move back to start doing a retreat from there because <laughs> it isn't working well at all. And then we'll overwatch him. Don't think I can overwatch this one, but then his range is only plus one anyway. That says any here. Uh, where's the sergeant? There he is. Move him. What did I? I might turn him round to deactivate that door. Okay. Turn him round. Um, I'll use a I'll burn a card on him. Give that card to action points. I think this is going to fail anyway. Yeah, I'm dead. And then there was two. Well, I'm not going to give up because I can probably do it with with the two. But um, yeah, it's not <laughs> it's not looking good, is it? Be three action points just to turn him round. Yeah, they do, don't they? <laughs> the two I wanted to die, the sole survivors. Um. If I could just shoot from here, I've got a 69% chance of failing it. That I'm not even going to try it. Um, I'll stick him into Overwatch whilst I try and regroup them. So yeah, I can see this is going to be a restart, isn't it? More so, I think this guy's got to reload soon as well. And 
then uh, my luck, the cannibal malfunctioned and blew up in his hands. <laughs> Or at least at the minute he's out of melee range, and I'll convert another card. Oh, I can't, never mind. We'll play it. Again, I'm not too sure if they affect anything when it comes to combat during their phase. Oh, then we've got to wait 10 hours for them, <laughs> for them to place everything. The other one's in melee range of my assault guy. Ooh. I don't know. I'm not too sure with the cards. Um, every time I get enough scrap, I can like upgrade the card to something. But I seem to just have the same three cards every turn. So at the minute, I've got um, yeah, target terminate. His next attack is a success. So I haven't got the sergeant, so I can't use that one. Um, the assault cannon is that one, and then with a the storm bolt, uh, equipped terminator, I get a, a target. It's the next next shot as a success. Right, so 88 percent chance of this shoot. Thank God for that. <laughs> and we'll move him back. Again, I'm just gonna have to retreat. This is, isn't gonna work at all, is it? Right, that puts him into melee range. See if I can actually shoot anything because if it's a guaranteed hit, then I might as well try it. Oh, no, there's nothing in range. Right, we'll just whack him into Overwatch again then. It's good, I'm, I'm kind of like a bit worried. <laughs> just make my heart pound a little bit. fact as well they're all grouping up in that adjacent corridor so I know once I get there they're just going to turn around and I'm just going to get destroyed because <laughs> you can't thin them out that's the problem right, I'm going to be in melee range or whatever so I might as well just move and shoot I think this is going to be the end of my squad my band of merry men um, well there's no fail condition for that look Thank God for that. Hopefully I can shoot him as well, then I'll use a use a card to then gain action points to move up. Um, I'm tempted to come up this way, because there's nothing behind me. And then, I mean, I've already taken out that turret, haven't they? Yeah. And try and blast through these and just run straight into the room. But that's going to work. It's not going to go well though, is it? 6% chance of... 69% chance of failure, really. It's like a square away. Yeah, I know. Increases my odds, no, it doesn't. Can I medium target range? I'll have to do. That's all I can do with that one. Oh, 
Yeah, e easiest being the being a relative word. Yeah. <laughs> right, what I will do actually, I'm gonna convert a card interaction points. I'm gonna reload his assault cannon. Wish me luck. Really expecting that just to blow up then. <laughs> you can walk in front of me, Cody. Then there was one. Come on, hurry up and kill me. <laughs> yeah, them turrets are useless. They, I don't know, terrible. I'm going to have to spend three action points just to turn this guy around. I'm not going to have enough to shoot the guy in front of him. Okay, so I haven't got one left. Right. Convert the card. Take another shot. Can't convert any cards now, um, so I got, just got to pray that the random dice roll gives me success when they potentially come into melee range, which they will, because I'm in within six squares of them. Or I can just try and survive for another, what, four turns, five turns even. Tara still not killed him. That's incredible. Finally. <laughs> He's really stressful. Just the fact I've got to go through this whole mission again, any you know, any minute now. Who's going to come up behind me in a minute anyway? Um, can I not move? No, I can't, can I? Uh, 
that's helpful, isn't it? The assault cannon can only be reloaded once per mission. Let's try it. I'll step back here. Hopefully my assault can is not now out of ammo, even though I reloaded like a couple of turns ago. <laughs> it's going to be the only chance, isn't it? And they're all moving out of range now, look. phone on the screen, on the computer. Um, I'm just going to have to overwatch again. I can't move forward with him there because that'll take me three, to, three points to turn around and shoot him. Which then leaves me open for him to come in and swipe me from the side. Overwatch. Yeah, I had to do how to make him come out. He won't, but there's more and more backing up there, so I'm just gonna be stuck in here. The longer I take, the more ammo I'm going to burn through when I can't reload the gun anymore. I don't know how many ammo's left. How much ammo? <sighs> right, let's go for it. Work hard to give me more action points. I'll we'll move there. Um, turn around. Hail the plus two melee. This guy's gonna kill him though. I'll be very surprised if he survives. Jesus Christ. Who needs a sword?
hopefully I can turn him round and use my plus melee card, take out the guy behind him and then just run. Right, here we go. Come on, random dice. <laughs> oh well. Never mind, we'll try again. Thirty seven minutes just to get wiped out. Madness, how many did I kill? Nineteen. Seven of them killed in Overwatch, seven cards played. Right, have I got the Apothecary back? Or is he is it actually dead dead? No, it doesn't say he's dead though, does it? What does he do? See, that sounds handy. <laughs> to target Terminator, if he survives a melee attack, he counteracts with a plus five melee. Yeah, let's... So if he's a heavy weapon bearer, why has he only got a storm bolt? Can't have two assault cannons. Right, let's get rid of one of these two. Um, yeah, and then I'll put the Sergeant Zahario in. Oh, forgive me, Lexi Captain. But the, the uh, I will. I'll try again with the um, the medic. Slim chance, eh? Stand by. Transmitting map data. Orders acknowledged. Right, Sergeant can go there. Right. Heavy can go first. Salt with the chain sword. And then my box man with the salt guys can go at the end. Right, this time I'm just going to run straight for. I'm not going to set up no like checkpoints or anything. I'm just going to move out, plant this bomb, get out of first person mode if I can remember the button again. Understood. I don't know if I can get him to open that door. Okay, that's fine. Taking up position. I am moving. Moving forward. <laughs> yes, brother. Yeah, come on, I don't need to watch him move. <laughs>
about us. Come on. Fear my thirst. Oh, I thought the second guy was my sergeant. I'll move the wrong person ahead. <laughs> So if anyone come up that corridor and that machine gun and misses it, then my guy on Overwatch should just blast straight down the corridor. If any of them move, that is. So the blip that was there was fake then. Um, good, 
but there's one there so puts me to two we'll then set him to overwatch again just in case the one comes around the corner there's clear clear range Switch on Terminator and automatically shoot the storm bottles at a potential target after each movement. That's tempting, I don't know if that burns through at action points though. There's their melee attacks now, I don't need them. Not the minute anyway. open the door straight away. I missed him and the turret took him out. Right, so we'll play that card on the guy I'm currently playing as. Well then we'll then melee this guy, get him out of the way with just to shoot him for the hell of it. Um this guy I'll keep on over. Same as this guy. Up until we move these two up anyway. working well so far and the only issue I had a minute ago was one of the aliens come around the corner here, opened the door up I'd closed and then took my guy out. Oh, 
as if I missed him. I don't know if I can burn a card for this one. Mister. <laughs> uh. For some reason, hit the second time with a higher percentage. Right, he can then. <sighs> I don't know. Just aim for watching. Watch that corridor, even though no one's in that general area. again. Vida does one. I need to turn it off though. I'll right, convert the card to more action points so we can then turn that Tara off. if I failed it. <laughs> this is a sergeant dead. Himself. Yeah, um, they get like an extra dice. So 
So like if you've got the sword, you like the extra dice is like the, the melee buff. Yes, brother. Likewise with my guy over here, he's got a chain sword so he gets a, a, a um, another dice roll I believe. I'm gonna burn a card to put this guy in overwatch because I don't, you know, he's just gonna come up behind us and kill us. And then hopefully, in about the next couple of moves I can then move the sergeant to there and then we'll be done. If things go according to plan. do as well if we turn him yeah we turn this guy round back him there because he can see down the whole corridor then I'll then move him up here Moved out of range. <laughs> to be fair, that's even better. Yeah, next move, I'll go straight into. So that's what one, two, three, four. Yeah, all these action points are done. I didn't mean to turn him round, but it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, I'll stick him on Overwatch. So if I do come into melee range on either of us, provided they then don't move up to there. I've then got the range with this guy to take him out. Then no no an Xbox it'll probably be achievement to like complete the mission squad member, but I'll just remember um, Let's convert a card. Don't think it gives me any points. I might be able to open the door now. No, I can. One job. <laughs> no, they won't be able to. So I played last time I did this one, I played it too tactically and failed, and this time I've nearly got half my squad wiped out, but you know, it's, it's worked keeping them all together. Except that one guy gets stabbed in the back. <laughs> Seek out a service hatch in this chamber. It will lead to a power core That's within the, the end. of an Imperial <laughs> Star Cruiser. Rig a charge to the core and arm it for detonation. That's it, isn't it? Good. We read the charge's control signal. One melter charge will not be enough, Captain. A dozen more will be needed just to make a dent in this abomination. These space hulks are a rusting sin before the face of the machine god. 
I cannot abide such foul and defiled machinery. Keep to your repair work, Fabricator, and stay off the Voxnet. My Battle Brothers will do what needs to be done. Surely that's done. What have I got to do now? Okay. Um don't quite know what else to do. Maybe I've got to end the turn, I don't know. I'll set it all up in case I haven't. takes a turn to set the bomb or something. We'll see, and then they'll come up behind him and just stab him in the back. <laughs> I'm done. If he dies, I'm done. Yeah, then they, the Gene is now getting upgraded by the look of things. Oh, thank God for that. How stressful is this last hour be? <laughs> oh, thank God for that. Right, so what have we got? Extra components, a chain fist blueprint, another chain fist blueprint, good. And 320 components as well. Uh, 23 minutes, so it took us less time than the, the failed attempt. 10 turns, 12 kills, 5 and over what, 3 cards, 4 command points. Captain, your attention. I see your men have found something of interest to me. You intercepted our communications? It is within my authority to do so. As your sergeant noted, some of these creatures possess an uncommon form of a kind I have never encountered. I am intrigued. Have no fear. Our bolters will make short work of it. <laughs> there are greater marine. tools than weapons, Captain Obaldo. Be advised, I am dispatching a remote servo skull to examine the Xenos remains and collect genetic samples. Knowledge of the enemy is a critical part of my mission. The Ordo Xenos may continue with its own agenda, as long as it does not interfere with ours. We have detected a significant energy source at grid coordinates 23x75. If it can be rigged with explosive charges, we may be able to cause a catastrophic <laughs> stabilization in this section of the Hulk. Right, so that's me done for today, guys. Um, thanks for watching the stream. If you, you know, if you want to follow me, you're more than welcome to. Um, I am at work. Uh, the weekend however I will be about tomorrow so I'll stream some more of this sometime this evening probably from 9 9 p.m. Um, so I am British so that'll be UK time um, yeah you can check me out on YouTube as well which is youtube.com forward slash Abraxas um, I upload quite a lot of VODs of my streams on there so I'll be grateful if you check them out but yeah if, if you want to 
want to give me a follow, then please, by all means, do so, and you'll be notified when I'm next live. So, yeah, thanks for your time, guys, and I will catch you all on the next streams. Bye for now.